Okay, so today I'm showing you this DIY outboard motor I've made for a, um, a paddleboard. So you can see it's an L-shaped stick that hangs off the back. There's a motor on the end, and then we've got a box for the batteries and ESC speed controller. Then a throttle here. So um, you just hang it over the back and stand on the pole, and then it should just propel you forward. So we're going to see how well it works used it now for a bit got um two full batteries out of it and um works quite well um obviously it's not fast it's not meant to be um this wire here is the only downside this gets really really hot everything else works perfectly um actually quite happy with it the way how well it works um water cooling system's really good uh it's really easy to control and uh, it actually, it's a, it's a pretty good system, other than the fact that that cable does get a bit warm. Unfortunately, I didn't have much time to film this actually working. Um, we were on holiday, and this was just a quick thrown together in a couple days before we left. So in the next clip, I'll explain how it works, and then towards the end, I'll show you some more footage like this of the Lake District where we went on holiday, so you can kind of see all of the, the mountains and how it looks. Just a quick explanation of how it works. So obviously you've got the motor here, propeller, on the end of a pole. There's this 3D printed 90 degree, um, just so that it can go over. Throttle is controlled by this little throttle thing here. Um, and then it runs off two of these 3S LiPos. Um, then inside the control box here you've got the ESC, um, which takes the power from the batteries and converts it to the three phase for the motor. Um, this ESC needs a digital signal, this throttle provides an analogue one. So there's a small little Arduino in here, which just converts the analogue to the digital, as well as um, controls the initialization of the ESC and does some throttle limiting. And then there's a small little um, breadboard here, which just is kind of acting as bus bars and has an LED on it, just so you know what mode it's in. And then there's a couple of buttons for controlling some features as well. Um, I've had to barge on this pump um, from a windscreen washer bottle, um, which is powered with this cable here, that is also, which is fed in the same place that this goes and connects to the system, just so because this ESC is water cooled, which is what these pipes are for, so an in and an out, um, because the original ESA I was using, this one here, isn't powerful enough, so I've had to switch to this one, which means it needs the water cooling, but that's kind of how it all works. There's a battery thing here, so you can use multiple batteries. Pretty simple. And then everything goes in here. Lid on the box. All got seals in, so it's all waterproof. There's grommets on all the cables, so pretty simple. Just going to jump back in here again and say thank you very much for watching. Um, I know I've not been here in a while. Um, hopefully I'm going to start uploading a bit more soon. I've got some server videos coming down the pipeline and a couple more DIY. I've just bought a bunch of new more pixels for the Christmas lights if you've seen that video. So get subscribed, stick around because there's going to be more coming. Um, might not be immediately but it will be there. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we get some more interesting stuff coming down the line. Production should be getting a little bit better now. Um, so enjoy these videos and thank you for watching.